Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In this video, what we're going to be doing is installing SMB and Samba on our Ubuntu server so we can share out some files and some folders on that server and then we can access it through our uh, Windows machine. I'll show you how to modify and change your IP and install everything that's needed and we'll test it together. All right, you ready? Let's get into the video. Hey guys, welcome back. So, with this all being said, I am on my server. We're going to be setting up the, the Samba and the network share. And we have a Windows client on the left and we have our server on the right. So, first things first, let me log in. It's Patrick, my fancy pants password. All right, so we're logged in. First thing I like to do, I guess we don't really have to do anything because it's all up to date. So the one thing I actually just wrote it up on a notepad. So if you want to like, for example, if you want to, I want to keep mine DHCP. This is the first thing I just want to put this out there. If we do an if config, I have 192.168.99.14, right? So say for example, you want to go ahead and modify this file and statically assign your server, because if you have a real server, this is a virtual machine, right? This is just a lab. So if you have a physical server and you have your, you know, your router and you have your DHCP scopes and you want to outside your DHCP scope so it never changes, uh, what you can do, you can modify the file and the file is in um, here. So the way you do that, I'll put it, I'll put the command here as well. I'll put the command here actually first so it's bigger. So you do sudo nano, because we're gonna, we're gonna modify it in nano. And then the, the path is etc network interfaces. Interface. Okay, so that's the that's the that's the path. So let me go ahead and do that here. Sudo nano etc network network slash interfaces. All right, and then we put our fancy password. And then in this case, um, I would put, for an example, auto, and, and this is your interface. So if it's LO, um, in my case, it was uh, ENP0S3. And then you do iFace, which is for interface, which is the interface that we're gonna use. INET static, because we're gonna statically assign. And then this is the syntax, like, okay, address, 192.168.1, Net mask, your subnet mask, your your gate, I mean your network. In this case is for this demonstration, 192.168.1.0, your broadcast, 192.168.1.255, your gateway, and your then your DNS servers. Okay? But I want to do a control X and I want to get out of there because I don't want to make any changes. So if I want to look at that, I can just do an if config. There's many ways. You could do if config, you could do IP address. There's a few ways to do it. So in my case, my IP address, my INET address is 192.168.99.14 slash 24, which is a 24 bit mask, which is 255.255.255.0 in dotted decimal, right? And my broadcast in my real case, right, is 192.168.99.255, right? And then it's global dynamic. It's not a static address because it's pulling from DHCP in my virtual box environment and the interface is EP, ENP0S3. All right, cool. Whew. All right, that was a lot of information in just a short, short while. So, all right, cool. So that's, um, that's that, all right? So let's minimize this and let's clear the screen so we can start what we're really gonna do. All right, so let's first thing, let's try to ping Google to make sure we can get out to the internet. Cool deal, everything is working as far as routing. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we wanna install Samba. And I believe I have it installed, but we're gonna walk through each step so you don't miss it, all right? And what we can do, what I can also do, you know what I'm gonna do in the meantime? I wanna use this file and I wanna walk through the steps, 
so we can I can just copy this so steps for install for install I'm just going to make it short and sweet so one so what we're going to do here we're going to do sudo apt dash get install samba s-a-m-b-a that's the first step all right so let's type that in here sudo apt but apt dash get install samba s s a m b a bada bing bada boom all right so it's already installed but that's the process that step one all right and the next step would be to set up the user all right so it's gonna be set up user okay and then i'll just do this and so the set up the user what we're going to do is sudo smbpasswd for the um, uh, the smb password dash a right dash a and then patrick right and then when we hit enter the next thing is in i want to put in capital put password i'm not going to put my password in here so you guys can see my stuff but all right so that's going to be that so let's go ahead and go on to the server and do that so step two right set up the user so we do sudo smb pwsswd right like i said here dash a patrick and then my smb password and we'll do it one more time perfect so that's installed right that that is uh installed on the server we have that username set up cool all right so the next thing we want to do we we'll copy or back up the smb config file so i'll put backup smb file all right so i'll do the same thing the command um we're we'll do this, we're just going to copy it so sudo cp and then we'll do etc the uh, SMB or uh, Samba, sorry, Samba. I think it's a uh, SMB config, but we're gonna see that in a second. COF, right? COF, and then we'll put the tilde. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and go back to the server, and we're gonna back up this. So we do sudo cp so copy etc SMB Samba. And then the tilde, bada bing, boom. Okay. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the directory for the share. All right. So make dir. All right. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to do mkdir for make directory, right? And we're going to put the path that we want to make the directory in. So we do home slash Patrick, and then it will make it as share. All right. Cool. So now let's go ahead and do that on the server. So let's do let's do an ls really quick. So we don't see the share folder there, right? So or the directory. So what we'll do now is do mk dir slash home patrick and then we'll make it share. And now we do an ls. Now it's here. Right? You see it right here. A share in blue so that's the next step so step five in this process will pretty much be to modify the file the the smb file and i believe i did that but we're going to check it right now so the way you do that is sudo nano and then we're going to go to the etc smb or samba smb dash conf and then we're going to make a change in here all right so we do sudo nano etc smb and we go all the way to the bottom so pretty much if you know if you look at here you know by default the work group is work group all lowercase i'm all uppercase my bad and then um, you can see that right in here. You can look at it. And that's pretty much the default in Windows too. So let's go all the way down to the bottom. 
and we're going to make some modifications. I believe I made the modifications already, but yeah, so I did. All right, so the modifications are as the following. So share. So it's pretty much when you go when you get here, you can just do whatever your thing is, share, okay? And then the path equals, and then the path equals, in my case, home, Patrick, and then share, okay? And valid users equals, in my case, it's Patrick because that's the user. And then read only, equals no. And that's, I see a mistake that I made in here and good thing I actually checked it. Let's delete this equals no. All right, so thank God I looked at that because I was making some changes and uh, good thing I look at, looked at it. So that was, that's that, okay? That's the, that's the step five, okay? And then step six, we'll check that in a sec. And then the way we save that is Control X, and you see uh, Save Modified Buffer, yes, Y for yes, and then Enter, bada bing. Okay, we can clear that. Now we're at a clean slate. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, this first, part of my friends for shits and giggles, what I wanna do is sudo service, if I can spell service, SMBD restart. All right, so let's do that command in the ser on the server. So do sudo service SMBD restart. Okay, that's that. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a test palm. So after this, I guess we can do, do seven. We can, the command is test palm. So it's T-E-S. P A, so test perm. Okay, so let's go test. P A R M. Okay, enter. So we can look at the global parameters, and we can check to make sure everything is good for our share, the path, and all that stuff. All right. So the last thing that we can do is if you don't have it installed, which I do is SSH, right? So you want to install OpenSSH. And the way you do that is you can do sudo apt-get get install open openssh-server. Make this a little bigger so you can it doesn't wrap around. Okay? So we can do that and then once that's done, number 9 is going to be sudo service service SSH restart, just to restart the SSH service, okay? Boom. And then number 10, test. And hopefully we can um, we can test it on our Windows machine and make sure it works, all right? So before we get to that, let's get to the next thing. So we get the test palm. So the next thing we're gonna do is uh, install the open SSH, which I think I already installed, but let's let's make sure. I already thought I made some changes that were wrong, so you never know with me. All right, so install, install, open SSH dash server. Yeah, so it's already installed. All right, cool deal. So the last thing we're gonna do is just do sudo service SSH restart, bada bing. Clear. All right, so this is the big test. Now it's testing time. So what we'll do is minimize this. So on the left-hand side here, we have a Windows machine. I want to X out of everything just to start from a clean slate. And I have my Windows machine on, on the left, my, my, my PC on the right. Um, make sure we can just do an IP config really quick. This test verification and test of connectivity. So from my Linux box, I'll ping my, my PC. And from my PC, I'll, I'll ping the server. All right, so we do ping 192.168.99.10. 10. 
Okay, that's working. And the way we stop that in Linux, um, we can do a control C to break that. All right, so from the, from the Windows box, we'll ping 192.168.99.14, and it's pinging. So we have basic connectivity between the two boxes. All right, so now let's minimize that. We can try to SSH into it. Since we just installed SSH and we made sure all that's working on the server, let's test that. So 192.168.99.14, just so that we can remotely access and, and configure it. And that's look promising, all right? So our username in my case is Patrick, and my password is my fancy fancy password, and bada bing. So I'm in, I'm remotely connected. So technically I can minimize this, open up my Windows box, and let that thing sit in your corner. You know, if this is a real server, let's set it in your data center. Now you you know you're remotely access remotely accessing it. You can do an ls pwd if config, and we can see all this. You know, all the services are on here. So, so now we can minimize this. Now the big test comes. Let's try to map that. Let's try to map. So we'll go to PC. We'll go ahead and right click. Map a drive, drive letter for me, I'll put for P for Patrick. And then the, the path will be whack whack 192.168.99.14, whack share. Make sure I spell that right, share. And if I hit finished, it should prompt me with a username and password. Let's keep my fingers crossed. I hope this thing works. It just went in, that's weird. Oh, because, and, and I know why. I think I tested it and probably had the credentials. But here we go. So now we are connected to our network drive and this is on the server, okay? So that's pretty much how you connect and how you set up a, a file server with Ubuntu server. So hopefully this has been helpful. And if you do get a prompt, for your username and password, you just put the username that we set up inside that file. In my case was Patrick, um, and then the SMB password, which you know, um, I wanna show you right here really quick. If you go up, let's just make this bigger, so because we don't really have to see the server anymore. So that's this part right here. So the username that you want to access and then put your password. This is gonna be the password when you get prompted to authenticate to the server. All right, so again, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Follow along if you have any questions, concerns, problems, leave me a comment, hit me up on social media, and I'm here for you guys. Thank you again and have a wonderful evening and wonderful day and wherever you are in the world. Please like, subscribe, share, the whole shebang. Thanks guys.